today's worksheet is going to focus on the element of art of texture. This is the last of our elements of art. So this is the last of the very building blocks of visual language. And texture is all about tactile sensations. So the sensation of touch. How do you both incorporate the sensation of touch into the physical properties of the work? But how do you incorporate the illusions of what things should feel like when they touch? So you can have the actual texture of something that is the way that it actually feels. Is it hard? Is it smooth? Is it rough? Is it soft? How does it feel to literally touch something? And then there are visual textures. So the visual textures of this pencil bag are very complex. And it looks like there's a lot going on, but the actual texture of this is the texture of canvas. And I know that because if I was to take a rubbing of this surface, the rubbing would not correlate to any of the clocks or the roses that you see on the pattern, but the rubbing instead correlates to that canvas texture that is uh, on top of that pencil roll right there. Now the focus of today's worksheet is going to be on actual textures. You're gonna be doing some texture rubbings. So you're gonna go out into the world, you're gonna find six individual examples of unique, distinct textures, and you're gonna take those textures and you're gonna create rubbings of them by placing them underneath your sheet of paper and then going over it with a colored pencil. When you're doing that, there's a couple of tips and techniques you should keep in mind. The first is when you're doing a rubbing with a colored pencil, make sure that that pencil is nice and sharp, has a nice long lead point to it because you're gonna be taking your color rubbings from your side of your pencil, not directly with the point, as you see right here. Use the side to get much smoother strokes. The other things to keep in mind is that there are things that make, while they all objects do possess actual textures, there are things that make good texture rubbings and things that make poor texture rubbings. This surface right here is a very smooth texture. It's a very hard texture, but because there's not a lot of variety in the actual texture, there's some visual grain happening, but that's just a laminate. So because there's not any variety, when I take a rubbing of it, the only thing that shows up really is the texture of my paper and the pencil strokes. That's not really an interesting texture. So if it's something is too soft, for example, if something is very hard and smooth and flat, those don't make good texture rubbings. Rather, what you want is something that when you rub your hand along the surface of it, you can feel that um, difference with your hand and it is stiff enough that that difference will translate when you rub it. If you're unsure about something, you need to have a piece of paper with you, especially for this project, to do some practice rubbing. So if, you, if you're not sure about something, do it on your scrap sheet of paper before you actually put it on this guy. Another thing to keep in mind for this project is the thickness of your paper. This is the only project that we're going to do where I do recommend that you do this one printed out on printer paper. If you print this out onto cardstock, your paper texture is going to be so heavy, it's going to be hard for you to get a good rubbing on it. So the thinner your paper is, like printer paper, the better rubbings that you're going to get when you do that. So for this particular project, if you've already printed things out onto higher quality, thicker paper, reprint this one just really quickly on your printer because you'll need that thinner paper. And then lastly, go ahead and pick out a color scheme for yourself. So that could be complementary colors, it could be analogous colors, cool colors, warm colors. I have decided today to pick a monochromatic scheme. We've already learned about it, that in our lesson on color, monochromatic being one color. So I've got different variations, shades, etc. on that theme 
but these are all revolving around the color blue for me. So I'll be doing a theme on blue today. I'm just gonna show you um, a couple examples of some rubbings that I'm gonna do. Each one of these is gonna have a, a, a totally unique character. So I'm not just going and doing, I'm not doing a rubbing of a sidewalk and then a rubbing of brick and then a rubbing of some sort of concrete and then another rubbing of something like asphalt, you know. I'm having a variety of textures that I'm gonna do my rubbings on. I'm gonna make sure that they're all neat. If you need to do any erasing, if you go outside the lines, then yes, clean it up, neaten it up, erase it, and make sure to fill in your whole texture box right there. So fill in that whole box whenever you're doing your coloring. I'll show you those examples and that'll be today's project. do is I'm going to take this is the first time I'm going to be showing you this this is a sanded eraser so I'm going to be using this it really helps with some colored pencil lines to remove any of my erase mistakes and then I'm going to label each of my textures with a pen what they are that I took the rubbings up mm -hmm. 